Do you think we are live? Yes. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us for the Pure Essential webinar. And we have with us today, Mansi Zaveri from Kidstop Press. She's the founder. She's also, uh, uh, she's also <laughs> a podcaster, author. We have Parinita Sethi. She is from the Global Spa Magazine and she's editor and she's curated some of the most memorable wellness events in uh, India. We have Kanisha Malhotra. She's an entrepreneur, actor, filmmaker, uh, fashion influencer with a huge following of 3 million viewers. And we have Pratishtha Rana, who's a health coach and a wellness influencer and a big fan of essential oils. And of course, we have Romain, who is the global education manager from Pure Essential Laboratory and who joined the brand in 2016. And he's in charge of the educational program and content of all the groups since that time. So today, of course, we're going to be discussing about the health benefits of essential oils, the new normal in these stressful times, and a bit about Pure Essential. It has been a French family-run laboratory since 2005. With a passion for all things natural and aromatherapy, the brand has clinically developed into most effective ready-to-use product ranges. Available in a wide range of 280 products across 90 countries, this Made in France brand is vegan, synthetic fra fragrance-free, paraben-free. Pure Essential was launched in India at a key period during the pandemic and has already built a loyal fan following, especially among the trendsetters and market leaders. So Romain, thank you for joining us. And we are very glad at the Women Inspiring Network to be hosting this for you. And I'm really, really glad that you will be sharing with us some insights. So let me begin with you. What is aromatherapy? Please uh, share some light on that. First of all, th thank you so much for the invitation. And uh, yes, hello everyone. Um, if we speak about aromatherapy, I think it's important to speak about essential oil, right? Uh, so how do we obtain essential oil? Basically from plant, flowers, bark. So many different uh, parts of plant can create essential oil. To obtain those essential oil, we need to do what we call uh, hydro distillation or steam distillation. And then we can use essential oil. Basically, we can use essential oil for flavor, we can use them for fragrance. And what we are interested in today, we can use essential oil as well for therapy, OK? And basically, aromatherapy does the fact of using essential oil for treatment, OK? So essential oil for their properties, like anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, anxiolytic, and so on, OK? And today, we speak with our audience in India um, I think we don't have to forget that India is one of the major and largest producers of essential oil in the world. So you produce very well-known sandalwood essential oil, peppermint essential oil, lemongrass. So a lot of very useful essential oil. Parinita and Pratishtha, what according to you is aromatherapy and how has it been a part of your life? You know how aromatherapy has been a part of even Ayurveda. Like if we look at our Indian culture, and uh, I can't see, I think Pratishta must have dropped out of the call. But Parinita, why don't you answer that? Uh, you know, and how it's well integrated in the Indian culture. So I'd like to know more about it, uh, Parinita, and please throw some light on the same in Mansi and Kanisha. Yes, so it's, um, firstly, I'd like to thank you all for having me on this panel. I mean, with people who are absolute experts and pros on aromatherapy, I feel like uh, the amateur in it, but in any case, um, aromatherapy has actually been a part of our life since a very long time. In, in the Indian context, even uh, before aromatherapy became a huge thing globally, we were using it in incense sticks. We would buy those lovely sticks, which beautiful aromas and things like that. Also in Ayurveda, it has been used a lot. Like we all know in Ayurveda, the, the uh, Ayurveda's premise is the three doshas, vata, pitta, kapha. So based on that, different, different aromas are used for treating the body type. Like uh, Romain said, um, aromatherapy oils are made from plants, bark, flowers. 
and it takes a, in fact it takes a lot of effort and a lot of that particular source product to make the aromatherapy the the oils the essential oils and um, you know it's very important for us all to know that of course aromatherapy has no side effects no known side effects but there is always um, a fact that we have to be careful with everything that we use so it's highly important for us to choose the right aromatherapy oils because it's so expensive so there are a lot of fly by night operators who will put chemicals in it and it may not be good for us so i would highly recommend if you're using an uh, aromatherapy oil for your skin do a patch test first do a patch test make sure you're buying it from the right source and then use the aromas now uh, from the context of spas aromatherapy has been used since like it's it's used very uh, you know very often in fact all the time if you look at a spa menu you will find that there are lots of aroma uh, therapy massages you go into a steam or you go into a sauna they will have some nice aroma therapy uh, essence or oil, essential oils over there which actually makes you feel wonderful the minute you walk, walk into a sauna not only that the minute you walk into a spa you will get a beautiful waft of the beautiful aroma oils so aroma therapy is something that is used across the board in various places in fact i at home itself i i use a lot of these um, uh, aroma oils in the burners in fact i'll tell you a story i in fact use a lot but my son is a complete disbeliever of aroma oils but he has a sleep problem so just to you know um, basically to make him happy make me happy he said okay mom put it in my room and i used a, a aroma diffuser with lavender oil in it and um, he's had a great improvement in his sleep problems so it's something i think aroma therapy is something that works wonders has been around for a long long time but has to be used carefully of course no side effects but be careful when you buy the aroma oils make sure you buy it from a trusted source that that is what my take is on aroma oils really mansi what are your thoughts uh, are you using aroma therapy in any form in your daily routine um so absolutely uh, if you are following me on instagram you know that i am obsessed about oils and incense sticks uh because when i practice and meditate every single day it's a part of my routine uh, to light the incense sticks put the diffusers on and you know then 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 meditate because it just creates a very very calming effect um i must also mention that you know when my kids were much younger my elder daughter had some you know a a i don't know a, a, a maybe an not a disorder but uh, a concern where she would actually wake up crying in the middle of the night and it's called something which is called night terrors that typically happens to kids when they're really 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 tired and the only way to kind of resolve it is either through a, a whole bunch of medication or to calm the child down and make sure that he's he or she sleeps before bedtime and that's the time my pediatrician actually recommended that why don't you try an essential oil um and each night i would actually you know uh, put on the essen put on the lavender essential oil and then i would you know calmly pacify her and put her to sleep uh and suthi kid you not in in a span of 3 or 4 episodes that it actually happened after i started doing that i saw a significant drop and in in the next 3 or 4 times it was gone so i am so happy that instead of drugging uh the child because the only way that you put otherwise is put your child in deep sleep which is with a cough syrup or any of any of those the best you know i i cho- chose the most natural way and i'm so glad that it worked and it's kind of become a practice um ever since and because i'm a student of ayurveda i use it in multiple things whether it's on the skin you know we all use rosemary oil for the hair for the skin we use different oil so uh, it's it's very it's now become like a household thing and even when people gift me they know that okay you know this is this is what will work with mansi so i think it's become quite synonymous to that extent and your thoughts kanisha are you using aromatherapy oh i wasn't yes i am i wasn't aware of aromatherapy like uh, a year ago i suppose i have a major chronic migraine problem so for me uh, you know it was biggest biggest problem that i no medicine used to work 
I think we are having an issue. But uh, Pratishtha, let me ask you if uh, uh, you know your take on. Or Aruba a friend of mine suggested that I need to mention oil and. Uh, yeah, Pratishtha, can you hear me? Okay, so for all our viewers, Hi, can you hear me? I will. I think there's a bit of a network issue. Okay. Yeah, there's I can a. Can hear it too. Yeah. Hmm. So we, for all our viewers here, we have a surprise. So please do share the live and at the end of it, the surprise would be revealed. And let me ask you, uh, Romain, your experience of, uh, uh, your experience of aromatherapy in Europe, because there's so many research studies and stories you can share with our panel and audience here. Yes, um, I think something different and, uh... As we know, Ayurveda is a very strong medicine, uh, aromatherapy as well. Now something very different those days is that there is a lot of publication on essential oil. In 2021, there is more than 20,000 publications on essential oils. That, that makes something more similar to natural, uh, to drugs, that we've got what we call evidence-based medicine. And with this publication, we see that we've got some effect and very interesting in sleep, as we speak before, but as well, for example, for anti-inflammatory, for germs, if we want to kill virus, if we want to kill bacteria, we've got some explanation in different kinds of studies. It could be in vitro, in vivo, or in real life. And we, we, we highlight the fact that essential oil are very strong. And just to, to get back to the point, in Europe and in some different country, I can see a, a very a high rise of uh, natural product uh, to treat yourself naturally. So, of course, essential oil is part of this, uh, but I can say that consumer want something naturally to treat themselves. It's all the time about the balance between uh, benefit and risk. And what we can see with essential oil, we've got a lot of benefit with no side effect. The only side effect we can have is only if you've got misusage. So, yes, in France, but not only in France, uh, in Spain, in Italy, in Portugal, in the UK, uh, we see that people are asking for this kind of product, efficient, uh, with no side effect. Yeah. Hi, guys. Were you able to listen to me? I was speaking, and I don't know what happened. Yeah, there was a disruption. So you can tell us your take on aromatherapy, uh, Kanisha. Yes. So I was telling you that I have a major migraine problem. I have chronic migraine. So a friend of mine suggested to start taking aromatherapy and uh, use essential oils in my steam. And uh, trust me, I mean, there are particular oils only like, uh, you know, which I have to use like eucalyptus oil or peppermint, which are really good for my uh, sinus and migraine. So I started using them and touch wood. To be honest, uh, I used to have like 15 attacks in a month. And now it's hardly like, I mean, it's still there, but it's, it has come down so much that uh, I feel so refreshed when I wake up. I used to always feel lethargic and I used to feel really low on energy. I, uh, I was not able to work out. So that has really helped me apart from the skincare routine I use it in. But uh, that is something I wanted to really share that it has really helped me in my health issues. And you know, with the new work regime, you know, we all are doing housework, of course, working, you know, taking care of the kids, the homework and practically sanitizing everything. You know, in the last couple, I think maybe the last one year, I've even been sanitizing the vegetables also, which is coming home. You know, so I wanted to know, like, how do you all take out time for yourself to relax? Mansi, let's begin with you. How do you relax yourself? Um, so I, I completely agree with um, Kanisha when she mentioned on the morning steam inhalation with the essential oil. So I also use the eucalyptus oil uh, with my steam because I am, you know, of the Pitta Prakriti, which, which uh, um, you know, which Parinita was mentioning earlier. Uh, and that's why it has really, really helped my migraine issue as well. Uh, so I make sure that I wake up at least an hour, hour and a half before my kids and uh, I try and sleep with them the same time so I can wake up that much earlier and make sure I carve out enough time for myself because I don't like to be um, the deprived grumpy mom, uh, the woman, the deprived grumpy woman who then wants to be the grumpy mom. Uh, so I think that is one. And the other one is by, you know, um, 
by by also doing these fun things right we also um, you know like the kids like uh, you know also lighting up different spaces or you know like you said i think we've all done like home makeover as much in covid right so we're also trying to create a lot of the outdoor experiences indoors um so even even uh, kind of doing up different rooms differently that that emanate a different vibe um i think that has been a great part of how we how we keep sane and what about you parinita oh um i have a series of things that i really do to relax uh, the first thing is a pause spending time with the kids now both my boys are they don't they don't live here one of them is in Bom- uh, lives in bombay but he's here right now and the other one has just come back from his studies from london so the most important thing is spending time with the kids playing games with them and you know it's the total chill factor other than that is we have started actually cooking together so it is so much of fun to cook with the kids and um, again the aromas come into the picture where you know beautiful uh, you know you add the little extra cinnamons and things like that to get a great aroma and um, I, i'm actually not a i'm not a great cook i've never cooked before the lockdown so it's something that i'm learning and uh, doing it with kids much of fun and of course there is um, you tend to take things with them you know, exercise exercise i meditate and um, some of the things that i've actually started doing during the lockdown and i'm finding them so interesting so of course walks is something you can't do outdoors so i started doing new things i put on loud music and i dance so that is something that really makes me feel wonderful and uh, well a lot of things and of course i can never miss the fact that i watch a lot of content on ott i don't know what i would have done without that so <laughs> those are the things that i really do to relax things that i would have never got the opportunity to do when we were you know at a 12 hour work shift and stuff like that so there are the positives which you got to be thankful for and uh, that's it and um, like uh, everybody was saying steam inhalation really helps i i i do that i make my kids do that um, my son has a bit of a sinus problem so i make him do a lot of steam inhalation with that one so these are the interesting things that what really gets them yeah kanisha your thoughts so i have been working continuously because everything has come online so for us influencers i mean uh, mansi must be knowing everything is online right now and uh, because of that i don't i hardly get time to relax so in the end of the day when i'm just done with my work i put a nice series and i put some nice i put obviously peppermint or eucalyptus these are the only oils which actually help me with my headache because in the end of the day i have a major massive headache and that's the thing which relaxes me i start feeling a lot big is you know uh, computer screens all the time and phone and camera and ring light everything is there so for that i just put some oil in the diffuser and i put some nice music or a nice series and i switch on my ac <laughs> i just relax and i sit that's the most relaxing part of my day and we have a question from one of our viewers uh, rumain while we were going live so the viewer is saying i have been suffering from insomnia since la- lockdown last year which essential oils can help him so some light on that uh, i think there is uh, is not i think there is several essential oils that you can use to relax to calm anxiety and to help for in- insomnia um sleep is really underrated and we don't always think as much important is sleep um sleep is important for example for growth regulation for memorization for heart disease like years after years we start to get new uh, studies about how sleep is important to maintain like what we call homeostasis like your body in a good shape good shape in your mind good shape in your body so if you don't sleep well uh, you will have problems or short term problems or long term problems uh, saying that like some people uh, will say okay i don't have sleep i will take some uh, pills like uh, sleeping pills this we know you don't have any a good quality sleeps and this is why i think like all you can do with a good hygiene it will be 
very interesting, like doing sport, uh, going uh, going outside, cooking, everything. What, what you say as well, uh, Mansi, Kansha are very interesting. And essential oil as well. It's part of a natural process. When you just when you are just inhalate, inhalating essential oil, that can really bring you down. And for example, the most well-known essential oil is the lavender essential oil, lavendula angustifolia. This one is well known all over the world. And there is more than 100 studies on this one. And even some clinical studies doing some comparison, comparison sorry, for, between uh, the lavendula angustifolia and one drug, it's called lorazepam, one strong anxiolytic. And we can see the effect are as strong with the essential oil and with the drugs. The only difference is that you don't have the side effect. The second day, when you wake up, you feel more fresh and you don't have the drowsiness. You're, you're not tired, you can drive. And uh, of course, it's not magical. You need to use it for several days. Uh, you can apply topically. Maybe we, can, we will speak about this later, but you can inhale as well. So lavender essential oil, it's one of my, I would say top five yeah. essential oil and very good for anxiety and sleep. Yeah. In fact, I have been using uh, some of your products and I'm really happy. I have a five-year-old uh, daughter and I can see her spraying all the time. So now we have Pratishta who's joined us. So Pratishta, you know, we've been all waiting to hear your voice. So tell us your take uh, on uh, essential oil, since you're a big fan of essential oil. Pratishta, you're on mute. We've... Yes. Can you hear me now? I don't know what's happening. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so Romaine, uh, like you said, lavender essential oil, that's my favorite too, honestly. And so how I got into the habit of using, like I used to do yoga in New York. And then when my yoga teacher came, so at the end of the session, she always, always uh, put lavender essential oils on my, uh, you know, Risk. on my points here. Yeah, on my wrists here. And so that really, I think like really helped me like calm me down. And then she's like, uh, she told me like how it's beneficial and like, you know, and like, like releasing the energy, like the, any stagnation in our body. So actually you're supposed to put it on your reflex points. Like it's same as acupuncture, you know, like you can put on your vagus nerves here. So it's great for your parasympathetic system. We all know it's the rest and digest system. So it's great for that. Also, how you use it is very important. Like you should, you got to know the points and oil of oregano is like my favorite as well, I think. And that's like really gained popularity last year. It's great for, it's, uh, you know, it's antibacterial, antiviral. And yeah, so that's great. And yeah, and I love your product. I was uh, checking it out, the home cleaning spray. Mm -hmm. which gets the spray. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Antibacterial, that is, I think, beautiful the lime and you know all those blends i think blends work better rather than the single ones yeah so you've got like really nice blends yeah so like work <laughs> synergy with each other and then just you know like yeah boost each other's performance so yeah. i remember pratishta telling me i'm a big fan i was just having a regular uh, discussion with her romaine and she's an instagram uh -huh. So she was like, uh, you know, saying, yeah, yeah, I want to be on the panel. So that's the power of your product. So let me ask all the other panelists that we have the air purifiers to keep our home safe from outside pollution. And what do you all do to keep your home purified from germs and viruses, especially the kids and elderly now who are spending all the time indoors? So Mansi or Parinita, which one of you would like to start? Mansi, you go ahead. Um, so honestly, I'm a, I'm a huge plant parent as well. I mean, you're seeing one right there in the backdrop. So I use a lot of plants to purify um, my home along with a lot of um, essential oils, incense sticks. I am an absolute uh, sucker for incense sticks. I love them. Uh, and, you know, in the traditional um, form, especially when we meditate and in the evening, uh, and I don't know if it's the, the tradition or the Gujarati genes in me, but we do, uh, you know, something called dhup, which is basically taking some charcoal or camphor or whatever, and then making sure that the air is purified, uh, even lighting camphor for that matter. Um, you know, it's, it's again a very traditional Hindu thing to do, which is light camphor after every puja or whatever. And typically in the evening, just at, you know, at about 536 when it's supposed to be dusk, that's the time we do that in the house to ensure that, 
you know, all negative energies out, you're suddenly calming the energies, um, you know, even all repellents, et cetera, are out. Uh, and especially that's become a practice uh, even more strongly followed in the last 15 months. Paranita, your take? Yeah, uh, the one thing that I also completely agree with Mansi is plants. I have a lot of indoor plants in my house and um, the ones that I use for purifying are just perfect. I mean, I use them even before the pandemic, but now during this, I'm like totally, you know, totally aggressive about it that we have to have the right plants. And um, uh, unfortunately you can't get your Mali. So you have to tend to your plants yourself in these days, so, which is great gardening and looking after the plants is great. Then incense sticks, that is something that we've always used. Um, my mother-in-law always has a whole uh, collection of different aromas of incense sticks, which we use a lot. Then secondly, like I said, I have a diffuser for most of my rooms and my favorite is eucalyptus oil. It really makes me feel really relaxed and um, lavender oil and peppermint oil, of course, we use a lot. So these are the things and, and I do have a lot of these uh, home fresheners that I, I use in the house. But um, uh, of course, again, like I said, you have to you get the right one with the right essence in it because you get so many in the market. So um, I haven't got the time, uh, the chance to try the pure essential ones, but I'm definitely going to get my hands on that very soon and use those in the house. And uh, that's it. I mean, these days it's so very critical to make sure that the air in your house is totally purified. And I think a diffuser is my go-to for really making sure that the house has a great aroma and relaxes. So I have a very interesting question for Romaine. You know, the WHO has recently stated that the new variant of COVID-19 is airborne, and that is why it is more contagious. We've been only sanitizing our hands and surfaces so far, Romaine, especially in India. And now how do we purify air? This, that's a very interesting question. So uh, I'll, my, my point of view will be that that's still very interesting to, uh, to use up. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. This is the, the hand sanitizer, the pure, pure essential one. Of course, we, yeah, this is the purifying, the one, you, the one you've got. Yeah. So we, can, we, we, we need still to wear a mask and to, and to disinfect our hands, our hands. But of course, it's very important, the air inside. If someone around you is sick, of course, if it's just sneezing, coughing, you will get the virus. The, the particle is so tiny, and we just understand that. Um, so, as uh, Parinita, you you were saying before, uh, we were speaking about the home freshener, the the purifying air spray. So, the, the one we've got we've got there. So, I don't know if if you can really see it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, th yeah. This is a patented formula with forty one essential oil inside, and this is exactly what uh, do the plant. Uh, Inside one plant, you don't have only one molecule. Like the lavender I was speaking before, you've got more than 100 molecules inside. You've got linalol, linalyl acetate, you've got many molecules, and the plant create those molecules just to get rid of virus, germ, parasite, exactly as what we need. So this is a formula with 41 essential oil, strongly antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-dust mite. So those molecules, you know, essential oil, uh, we call it oil, but it's not oily. It's something very volatile. So when you open one bottle of essential oil, you just open it, then you can smell it, and the molecules start to go just all around me, okay? So this is exactly the same with the purifying air spray. When you will just do one spray in your room, like this, you start to purify all the room around you. It's one spray for one square meter. You will treat it. So just in, if you've got a bedroom, you will do two spray per day, and then you treat the air all in the, in, the, in, the, in the room, okay? So you get rid of virus, fungi, uh, bacteria, and that's what, what you need. And of course, of course, that's always really important to open the windows, as Mansi was saying, I think, is just to open the windows at the end of the day, you open it and you just get some fresh air. That's, that's my main recommendation. And uh, we've got 15 studies of efficacy and tolerance on this spray and we can see it's working well really well we, we even get one study of uh just to to, to fight the, the the covid in korea and we see it's 99.4 percent efficient so of course uh, you've got no synthetic product inside no synthetic fragrance it's only essential oil 
and organic alcohol. So, yeah, uh, that, that's my go-to. Yeah, in fact, they have 280 products in 90 countries, if you all didn't know that. And that's a question for all our viewers. Maybe there's going to be some sort of competition, so we'll know if you all are watching us live or not. So, you know, we've all been facing a lot of weather change, com common cold, allergies, sneeze, and all that is also causing a lot of mental stress, especially during the pandemic. We all get worried the moment someone has cold. So tell me, what do you all do? Uh, and anyone can take up first, you know, like any of the remedies you do the moment you, you have caught a cold. As I mentioned before yeah, that, I... Carry on. I, as I mentioned before that I actually uh, take steam every day so as soon as and I am prone to tonsils and I'm prone to getting cold like literally I just have one ice cream or just one cold coffee and I'm done it's it's done it, it's the cold is there so for that I take steam every day with essential oils as I mentioned before and I have to take it for sure but or else I'll start having uh, you know cold so for me it's very important taking steam twice a day with essential oils and i just told my dad also to start it today only he's like ki isse farak aata hai kya maine ka first try kar and he actually took it and he's like ki this is much better than just taking with water pratishtha your take uh, eucalyptus is great like if you take steam like i just hang eucalyptus leaves in the shower like that's great to open up the congestion is it okay yeah yes Yep. open up congestion and then like um yeah just for like i think just up your immunity game like i think for the common cold right just eat like vitamin c rich foods and like zinc and all of that that we've been doing since the past year and yeah like um i love essential oils for anxiety like a lot of people are facing anxiety issues right now like they have crazy anxiety so just breathe essential oil like lavender essential oil or any of uh, pure essential beautiful blends through your uh, left nostril so that goes straight up to the you know the left cortex so yeah there's a whole science behind it so i just wanted to say just try try and do that and you'll instantly uh, you know feel so much better and calmer and yeah so anxiety just goes away like that mansi york take right um you know sudhir Thank you, Angit. Yeah, uh, it actually brought me back to childhood memories, right? You remember when we were children and we would get a cough and cold and our parents would put eucalyptus oil on a napkin and send us to school. And then they would pin that napkin with a safety pin on our school uniform. I don't know how many of y'all that has happened. But if you think of it, it's been, eucalyptus has been part of um, you know, part of our tradition for so, so long when it comes to cold cough sneezes. In fact, I must also confess that before I got onto my journey with Ayurveda, um, I used to wake up, I don't know how, with how many people this has happened, I used to wake up with a barrage of sneezes, like 10-15 sneezes to essay, right? And that's the time, um, you know, I was introduced to um, you know, steam inhalation with uh, eucalyptus oil. And I do that every single morning. It's part of my routine. Also, like, um, like Pratishta mentioned, you know, um, I, I use, I do something which is called nasya, which is, of course, you put medicated oils into your nostrils and then breathe. But um, I think, I think just to calm the anxiety for me, lavender does a fantastic job. Lemongrass, again, is my absolute favorite. And my kids are obsessed with lemon. Uh, so these two or three things, and even, even um, uh, you know, the other one, which is very, very traditional, uh, it's called Vetivar, right? Um, again, absolutely love that, uh, love that as, as a fragrance um, and, and as an oil. So if anybody hasn't tried that, give that a shot. Um, so these are typically things that help me really, really calm down. Arunita, your take? Yeah, so, um, you know, the pandemic has made every little cough and sneeze matter. So the minute somebody coughs or sneezes in all our houses, I think we all get into panic mode. But um, what we do is that we have uh, uh, the typical haldi dood every alternate night. We also have a concoction of ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, mm -hmm. black pepper, honey, cloves. We drink that also. But like everybody has mentioned, the real go-to is steam inhalation with uh, with the oils. The oils that I usually use are um, eucalyptus oil. That's my all-time favorite. 
or peppermint and now oregano oil which is these are just perfect to clear up the entire decongest your entire system so these are the things that we do on a very regular basis and in fact i have a very interesting question from another viewer i have just recovered from covid and still have congestion romain your thoughts on that I will, I will follow what were, what was saying Parinita. She was speaking about the steam. And I think if you still have some congestion, essential oil, as we know now, and we were speaking a lot of eucalyptus essential oil, eucalyptus radiata, because there is uh, more than 10 different uh, kind of eucalyptus oil. So it's very important to get the Latin name, which kind of eucalyptus I was speaking about. Uh, the eucalyptus globulus or the radiata will be a very good job for all the ENT tract. And I think, all remedies, but that's the one I prefer is to use the essential oil and doing a steam in inhalation or just what we what we call steam. And we've got something very uh, a product which is a very um, efficient and easy to use. It's the respiratory air spray. That's the one I've got there. Inside you've got 18 essential oil. You've got a lot of eucalyptol inside the main molecules that you got from Ravinsara essential oil, eucalyptus essential oil. You've got Lurus essential oil. So 18 essential oil, it's a 100% natural product. And you just mix it and you do one two or two spray in hot water or in a hot water in a boil or boiling water, just like this, you two spray. And then for 15 minutes, you just will, you will inhale on top of that. You can put a towel on top of your head and you can do that two times per day. And I can ensure you after one or two days, the congestion in your nose or in your throat, if you are a little bit coughing, that will go away, okay? You, I, I hear like uh, Mansi, she was saying she was doing that every day. Uh, honestly, if you got a congestion, it's a post-viral congestion. After one or two days, uh, that will be gone. And it's uh, completely natural. Yeah. And Mansi and me were just uh, talking uh, earlier. And, uh, you know, she's got small kids and so do I. And... Uh, so uh, Mansi and Mar Mansi, of course, runs a parenting platform and, you know, so one of the questions was, do you recommend aroma therapy for kids? And Mansi, would you like to add if you, if you want any question from your platform perspective? Right. Um, so first up on Kids Stop Press, we never, never, ever recommend anything that, you know, I wouldn't practice or uh, practice on my own kids because it's taken us a really really long time to build the trust that we enjoy today and uh, I always tell my team this that it's very important no matter how much time you've spent on working on an article or video or whatever else it is if it doesn't help the consumer or doesn't help the parent then it's not worth it um, so coming to this you know I always feel that um, you know and, and we were having this discussion earlier on right you know, when we need to pop something in our mouth, we don't think as much. Then, you know, and we just do it uh, so, so easily, right? We're always treating symptoms, symptoms, symptoms. We never want to get to the cause of it. And, you know, after having my children, Suti, my life uh, took a complete 360 where I wanted to understand and not over drug my children to a large extent. And that has helped me in um, studying a lot of the things that I study today, whether it's Ayurveda, it's wellness, it's eating foods, or, you know, just this morning I posted about eating something locally sourced versus following a mono diet. And that has largely been because my kids have been guinea pigs of a large part of my experiments. Um, so aromatherapy is something that it's, it's not a fad. It's, it's something that we've grown up with. So why are we so skeptical in trusting what our dadis, nanis, our ancestors have said uh, and saying that, Achha, you know, abhi ye cool hai. sorry, Romain for the Hindi, but uh, it just comes very naturally to us. <laughs> but just to translate that back for you, it's something that our uh, grandparents have done it for over so long that we, we suspect that and we think it's, it's a fad now. But India goes such a long way back that as a mom, as an owner of a platform that is really, really trusted, I would trust uh, my, my grandparents uh, more than anything else and, the, and, and understand now the, the usage and the science and try and marry the two and then use it for my kids. Mm. But for me, it's kind of worked like magic. And like I said, right, when my child went through night terror, 
it worked like magic and at that point in time i felt so helpless as a parent i stayed up every night i cried i said why me right and i said okay i'm not going to let this um you know it, it's just such a helpless feeling to see your child just howl and cry through the night and you can't do anything to pacify um so for me it worked it worked like magic and and that's the only reason why um you know why i'm i'm totally recommending it for other but you uh, romain so coming back do you recommend aroma therapy for kids uh i would say yes but always 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 you need to be cautious uh for example and in pure essential we don't uh recommend to use essential oil like the unitary one for kids like does one pure because this is pure you need to imagine that in, in this kind of small bottle you've got one field of full uh eucalyptus tree okay that will be bring you this kind like it's the only thing for kids we don't sometimes we don't remember like it's it could be so powerful so for kids the best is to use what we call ready to use product this is uh, a respiratory balm so inside you've got essential oil but it's a mix okay so you've got a little bit of essential oil and then you've got shea butter you've got uh bee wax so all natural ingredients that will be kind for the skin and with the right amount of essential oil for baby over 6 months okay we've got the same for kids over 3 years just for babies always use diluted essential oil okay and probably something that we haven't say as the, as the, the beginning is with aromatherapy we've got div- different vision in the world uh for example in the english countries they think it's only for smell uh, fragrance in the air and just like as just as a perfume okay but honestly there is other vision as well with a bit more scientific and we see that we can use essential oil through the skin through inhalation and as well orally the only thing when you use orally you need to be very careful not all essential oil for example the winter green essential oil very good to treat all kind of pain it's very strong it come from nepal uh, so it's very strong essential oil but only 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 through the skin so always get some uh, always read how to use the right essential oil before you use it how to use it where to use it and to who are you going to use uh, this essential oil wow and now that the world environment day is coming romain i have a question for you how are pure essentials products sustainable specifically i want the answer to that because i want to know a bit on that so uh, as as you know so we, we've got some, some essential from india uh, our sandalwood our for example uh, basil sometimes the peppermint essential oil but we source our essential oil all over the world in more than 30 countries and every year it's roughly about 160 tons of essential oil uh, what we want to do it's to get some to work directly as much as we can with the farmer okay not to buy to another company when we go to india we try to go to see some small producers in the field of peppermint of peppermint to go and to speak with them to buy the product to buy the essential oil and to buy it in advance at least for 3 5 and sometimes to up to 10 years so we do only sustainable sourcing and we are very cautious of what kind of tree plant flower we use not to deforest and yet yeah, to be very careful with uh, with the earth and to be only with uh, fair trade and sustainable uh, sourcing so i think the panelists had a question and uh, would they all like to ask because we are sort of reaching the end of our session but they were all talking about a lot of headaches and migraines so do you have any specific question parinita pratishta or ganisha for romain here yeah i want to ask that as i mentioned that my migraine is you know taking a toll over my health so i wanted to ask you that what oil would you suggest or what therapy would you suggest that i do in day to day life anything in particular for my headaches thank you can you share for for your question uh, migraines uh, we were speaking about a lot of things today a lot of different um, problems migraines is one of the very hard things to very hard pathology to to treat why because it it can have a lot of different cause and it could be sometimes genetics sometimes it could be from the eyes what I, we know is is very different headaches and migraines headaches it's it's fine you can use essential oil it works wonder uh you can use it basically you can blend peppermint essential oil one or two drops in in a one teaspoon of you uh jojoba oil or 
olive oil, you blend it and you can apply on your trigger point. Like here, you can massage it for five seconds in back of your day for five seconds. And that's fine. If it's migraines, it will be a little bit harder. Uh, that's depending the cause. Yeah, I have a friend who uh, used to like, you know, put peppermint oil in uh, like, you know, roll on and used to just yeah. put it. I used to feel a little better with that. So is it something you suggest or is it something you don't suggest? Of course, we suggest, and we actually we we have developed one roller like this one for oh. for my for headaches. And inside, you've got twelve essential oil with peppermint essential oil, but some other essential oil like basil, which is antispasmodic. That means that would calm you spasm. So, of course, I, I recommend a, a roll on. Yes. So, do you? Oh, sorry, I, didn't, I want to ask one more question. Yeah, so, do you also, are there any side effects of like I have migraine and? something which has a really strong you know fragrance really hits it and i start having a headache do you think essential oils have this kind of side effect or all essential oils are good good to go now as i said before uh, we we always need to be careful with essential oil to to pick the right essential oil the way of administration and the amount of time you will use it per day if you use it correctly what we see is there is only misusage. There is no side effect. And we've been working with Essential Oil now for years and years. We, create, we created the company in 2005 and we see only it could be misusage. You can, for example, put some essential oil too strong on your skin. And if it's a very strong one, very antibacterial, that can be, you can have some irritation on your skin. Of course, because it's very strong. Like don't put cinnamon oil essential on your skin. You will not burn your skin, but you will have some strong irritation. So always get some book with some knowledge and how to use it. And any one last question, if uh, Parinita or Pratishta, uh, Parinita has a question. Oh, my son has a sinus issue. In fact, my son and my husband, both of them have a sinus issue. So what's the best essential oil to use and how can you really help with the sinus, with clearing the sinuses? Uh, as we said before, Parinita, I think the steam the steam will be very good. And I will recommend more than one essential oil. I will recommend you the respiratory spray and to, to use it in your, in your steam. To do one or two, three spray, then you inhale, and that will help for, for, for sinus, sinus issue. And as well, uh, some, that, that's a small tips. You can, for example, put, put one drop of peppermint essential oil in uh, some uh, sugar cube. You put it in your mouth. You just it, let it dissolve. And just by inhalating internally, that will help the sinus to, uh, to have this mucolytic effect, to sneeze. If it's blocked, that, that will help. So one drop of peppermint essential oil internally in your, in your tongue with some sugar cube, for example. And don't forget to do the steam with essential oil rich in eucalyptol. Okay. Perfect. So one of our viewers, uh, uh, Sucharita, has asked us, I have allergic rhinitis. Please suggest which essential oil is good for treating it permanently. He has allergies. Is it for me or is it for someone else? It's for you. It's for me, okay. And if that's uh, your audience, I'll take her name, it's Suchirita. Okay, so for, uh, for allergy, it's really depending on what kind of uh, allergen has, has the, um, is, is, is causing the problem. For example, it's from dust mite. In India, you've got a very different part of India. We can have some very warm weather, right? And warm weather um, are helping to create a lot of dust mites, for example, inside our mattress, you know? One good stuff and efficient stuff to get rid of dust mite is just uh, spraying your mattress with the purifying spray. We know we kill during one week 100% of dust mite. So if you've got a lot of allergy, is from it, and if it's from dust mite, you just remove those dust mite by killing them. Then you can vacuum your mattress. And when you sleep, you will sleep like fully. And when you, when you will wake up, no sneezing. No sneezing. Mm -hmm. Pratishta, you're the only one who hasn't asked a question. So do you have a question? Um, so anything you have to like, you know, increase the oxygen flow, the circulation, the lymphatic drainage, like any any product for that? Yes, I, I don't know if it's already uh, distributed in India, but we call what we call the circulation range, okay? Uh -oh. And 
Inside, we've got uh, some essential oil like Cypress essential oil, Cedar essential oil, Elecrism, like Immortella essential oil, very good for uh, lymphatic drainage and uh, yeah, to help to get rid of toxins. Yeah. So uh, I think this range will be, uh, will be my go-to. And what you were saying, Patricia, before, uh, I think, don't forget to use essential oil for anxiety. It's very, uh, I mean, we need it all over the world now. We, we need something to help for anxiety. And don't forget, when you treat your anxiety, when you get less anxiety, you've got a better immunity as well. So you are less stressed. And as well, if, if you got a virus, you will, you will fight better the virus. So that's a, that's a good point, I think. So on that note, you know, we've come to the end of our sessions. And for all our viewers, you know, Pure Essentials is available at food halls, Amazon, IDFS Shop, Tata Click, and coming soon on Nika. And we would like to thank all our partners for the successful of this uh, insightful uh, webinar, our amplification partner, Kidstop Press and celebrity Kanisha Malhotra, our media panelist, Parinita Sethi, chief editor from Global Spa, and our health, health and wellness coach, Pratishta Rana. And of course, curated by the Women Inspiring Network, which incidentally also took shape during lockdown last year. And with our partners and collaborations, we've had a 10 million reach. And special thanks to the Pure Essential team and international tra trainer Romain for sharing the insights and educating us on the benefits of essential oil and aromatherapy. Thank you so much for joining us, Romain. And I would really like to thank you, Parinita, Mansi, Kanisha, and Pratishtha for contributing your time and helping us amplify this webinar. Thank you. It's been so great. much. This has been a really insightful session. Romain, thank you so much. Uh, and to all the panelists here, I am definitely going to ping you guys straight after this because there's so much to learn. And we are migraine buddies now, Kanisha. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so, once again. Thank you.